Hi. So <clears throat> the topic tonight is to uh, make a zigzag theme. Uh, I made the zigzag theme in an assignment because I thought that uh, so someone in, in the class had, uh, had done it already. It turned out uh, maybe I was wrong. But uh, the idea is this, is that I have um, a featured image here. I have um, the article. I have a featured image here for the next post, the article, featured image, post. Okay, so um, I've already created a WordPress site. And um, I have uh, six posts that I've created. This is a bit of a, a shameless pitch for my, uh, my day job, mbartist, uh, mbartist.com. Please, uh, please visit and have a, have a look at some of the, some of the images there. I, uh, I really like my job, but I really like uh, like our product too. I think we've got an awesome uh, an awesome product. So the steps that we're going to be using for the um, the child theme, uh, four basic steps. Uh, I've already created um, a child theme of um, the <coughs> enterprise or um, yeah sugar. I forget what what it was called. Um, Economics. I created a child theme of economics. So uh, that was a simple theme that we used in that we used in class before. So I created a child theme of economics. Um, I'm going to take um, two files from the parent. I'm going to um, modify them. Modify them both. Uh, we'll look when we modify um, one of the files. We'll look at the post loop. And then um, finally, I'll change the style of um, the thumbnail. I don't know why I didn't finish writing that. Change the style of the thumbnail. Okay, so that's uh, that's 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 the plan. We'll see how long it uh, how long it takes. But hopefully, uh, hopefully, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go um, right into Visual Studio Code. Click here. Now, when I created my child theme, switch, switch there. When I created my child theme, it made a folder in WP Content Themes, and I called it Zigzag. All right, and it's made a couple of, um, of files for me here. So functions.php. Um, this was the file where we put our um, Google Analytics code in another topic. Uh, we have a style.css where we might have to put some um, some CSS for this, but right now it, it doesn't have anything in it. So in another topic, we put a root element in this and um, and recolored um, the page. But uh, today we're just going to focus on the on the zigzag. So I need two files. From uh, economics, and they're both here. So I need the index.php file. So I'll copy that. I'll paste that. Right-click on Zigzag and paste it in there. Okay. And the other file I need from economics is the content.php file. So I'm going to right click on um, zigzag and paste that one. All right. So um, these are the two files I need. Unfortunately, I can't change. I can't leave this one um, named content. So I'm going to um, rename it to be content zigzag. Um, actually, I'll do. I'll call this one contact right for reasons that you'll see in a minute. ContentWrite.php. So I guess I can explain. Um, so these images are on the left. We're going to use the content right to have um, the images on the right. We'll do that every second second one. So <clears throat> if we look at the um, child theme and we look at the parent theme, uh, elements in the child override the same element in the parent. 
So uh, it's made a functions.php for us. Um, this will override the functions in the, um, in the parent. Uh, it's made an index.php for us. It will override the index.php in the parent. Now, if we look at the index.php, I'm just going to move this over a bit. Um, this is the famous WordPress posts loop. So um, it starts on line 22 and ends on line 30. Okay. So um, <clears throat> what it's doing then and this is where the content.php is coming in, is it's um, using this template, content.php, um, to format the, um, the post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do n posts equals 0. Then here, I'm going to do n posts dollar sorry dollar n posts. This is on PHP after all. Plus plus. Okay, so that's going to increment the value of n posts. All right, and then I'm going to say if n posts is even. So if dollar n posts. Oops, that's no, that'll never do. Um, programming is, is case sensitive. So um, this is the modulus operator. So it gives the remainder. So if n post divided by 2, if the remainder of that is even, then I'm going to use the template content. Else, if it's odd, I'm going to use my new template. Okay, and that's the one I just copied over. So let's go um, look at this. It's called content write. PHP. Okay, so that's almost. Uh, that's almost done, believe it or not. Um, the only thing that I need to do is I need to put another class on um, the thumbnail if it's um, content right. So um, <clears throat> we're going to go back here in the content right. Uh, here's the thumbnail code here. Okay, so I got div class equals post thumb here. So I'm going to add another class to this, pull dash right. So this is a Twitter bootstrap um, class name. I'm not sure that we even have Twitter bootstrap. So we might have to do a little bit of um, a little bit of CSS for this as, as well. But I thought I'd use the Twitter bootstrap name just in case we have um, in case we have Twitter bootstrap. Okay, now, I've got my WordPress running here. <clears throat> it was already running. So now, if I do a refresh here, okay, nothing's changed. But if I look at one of these and look at its class, this one's post thumb. If I look at this one's class, This one's post thumb too, so I've got a I've got a little problem somewhere. Um, what's my problem here? Post thumb pull right index.php content right dollar n post equals zero n post return two. Hmm. Interesting. I don't actually see my trouble. If has post thumbnail, post thumb pull right. All right. Huh. Weird. 
let's just have another look at this. Inspect, div class post done. Inspect, div class post thumb. Well, I'm going to pause this and uh, see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, so I um, just paused the uh, recording for a minute. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll re-record it later. But I made a dumb mistake, so maybe maybe it's worthwhile me showing you my uh, showing you my mistake anyways. And uh, I'll decide um, after I'm gonna, if I'm going to re-record. Sorry, so um, here I have index.php and I had content um, dash right here in um, the, the template, um, get template part. Um, I had content dash right. Um, one of these was inconsistent. So I think it was the source file had content right, no dash, and this one has a, this one has a dash. Or, or vice versa. Anyways, um, the computer only does exactly what you tell it. So I didn't tell it um, right as far as the template um, part is concerned. Now if we look at this, and um, it's still not going to the right, uh, but that's fine. We can uh, deal with that in a minute. But if I look now, um, this image has um, post thumb and pull right as the class. This image has just post thumb as the class. All right, so <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a style here to make it um, go to the right. So I'll pull dash right I'm going to say float colon right okay and that'll pull that'll pull it right so now when I refresh oh sorry made another little mistake here <laughs> So it's a class, so it needs a dot in front of it. Now when I refresh, they're um, switched um, zigzag. Now I don't like it zigzag this way. I want to start with the picture on the left, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go back to my back to my code here. In, oops, sorry, wrong index.php. In the index.php, I'm going to change this to equals zero. Now, when I refresh, they look more like I uh, like I intended them to. Okay, so that's how I um, that's how I have them in the picture. So I've got left, right, right, left, and so on uh, there. So you can see um, now how they how they zigzag. So um, just to just to recap, uh, I moved two files or I copied two files from the um, economics theme. I copied um, index.php, um, index.php, and I copied content.php. So um, index.php, I um, made this little edit here. So it's an n posts to zero. If n posts is um, evenly divisible by two, then um, I use the content. If it um, isn't evenly divisible by two, I do content right. And I change the content right to um, add an extra class here on the post thumbnail this pull right class. So uh, that's it. 
that's uh, that's a zigzag. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to use it in your assignment.